Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Harry, I thought we'd start on the big, the big issues to start with. There's been a lot of political rhetoric around the economy. Um, but really, Australia's not doing too badly if we're comparing ourselves with places like Spain. Why do you think consumers are so grumpy? Why are they in such a bad mood and not buying? Oh. We, we are in a good position. Yeah? And uh, I think we are in a good position because as a nation, we pay our taxes. So the government has some money. And, and uh, very important. And uh, the property market, reasonable. But they're grumpy because really purchasers want to make money. It's different today from years gone by when there was very little people could do with their money. Today they can run around, they can do whatever they wish. And before they only knew one thing, they bought a house. That's it. Not enough today. Today they want to make a profit. Do you so think sentiment's going to improve though? Yeah, yeah. It will. It will improve because the Reserve Bank has dropped the interest rates. Mm. And now it will be cheaper to pay off something. So, Harry, how low do you think interest rates will go? Is this the bottom? I don't think so. The bottom will be when more Australians will buy and when places like Queensland mm. will thrive again. Because today nobody can build there and make a profit, okay. so it's very difficult. So what's your tip on interest rates? They're going to drop six months? Uh, it's very difficult, but I, I would say they will drop another half percent. And uh, I think that the results have been very pleasing. The mood has changed. And it's not only for a purchaser, it's also for the investor. In fact, the investors have come in now more than the purchasers, than the home purchasers, because before they would have to pay all up maybe 7%, and now maybe they have to pay all up maybe 5%, 4.5%. It's a mm -hmm. big difference. And the rents are the same, so it makes a lot more sense. And, so, uh, so you've already seen a change of mood. So you're selling more apartments? Yeah, I am selling more apartments. And you'll build more? I'll build more. So but how many do you think you'll build in the next 12 months? Two and a half thousand. But that's, that's up a thousand, isn't it, on what you built a year ago? Yeah, a year ago was a lot less. So but you're pretty optimistic then? Always, because <laughs> a, a developer who is not optimistic shouldn't be a developer. Now. That's <laughs> it. We can't afford not to be optimistic. now, But we co shouldn't be silly optimistic, though. Things take time. Now. So. I think that uh, the, the market, will, there's always a great demand. And the big interesting thing that happened was that people suddenly started to live four people in an apartment instead of two. Hmm. Now that worried me a bit because I thought the rents would come down. But all it did is just stop the rents from going up and I think they'll start going up again because they can't put, hmm. keep on putting more people there. Enough's enough. Have you changed your design to try and combat that? Yeah, I try to help them. The, what I do is I have a lounge in the middle, and I have a bedroom on one side and a bedroom on the other side. And they're practically identical, and each one has its own bathroom, and that is very good when they want to share. We succeeded that, so that's what we made the change. Mm. And where are you still getting most of your buyers? You said there's more investors. Is it still predominantly Chinese investors? Yeah, mostly Chinese, yeah. yes. And has the reported slowdown in China, has that made any difference? I don't think, no, it, it didn't. I know it didn't. The, the Do you Ch really think there is a slowdown? No, it won't slow down in the foreseeable future mm. because the Chinese government is quite happy for them to buy outside of China because they have such big bubbles there all the time with prices, so they want them to buy f with us. So that's very important that the government is helping them to come here. And then Chinese always want to have a little bit of something outside of China, very important. That's how they always do it. And they're very happy here because we have uh, property, real property title 
In China, mm. they only have a lease. The communists have been there already now for 60 years, so I don't know what the lease will run out in 40 years. That must be a worry for them. It's the first thing when they come here, they ask, is this for forever, or that's just a lease? And you know, you have to... Now they know, of course, but when the first ones came, that was it. The second reason why I'm optimistic with them is because our prices are a lot cheaper than in China. And especially since our dollar is coming down, it makes it cheaper again for them. Do you think some of your success is because you have come from another country and you've come in and seen opportunities somewhere with fresh eyes? Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it depends. Like, it, it, it all depends. Everybody sees things differently. I can talk to my friends and we can discuss things that we saw overseas when we were kids. But I paid attention to things they never even saw. And then they saw things I never saw. So it depends. I don't know what would have happened if I grew up here. Maybe also I would see things that others don't see. Like when I came here, they asked me if I could play football. And I saw the big guys there, so I ran away. But I wrote very nice history essays, so I, I don't know, you see. So they saw the football, I saw the history essays, so I don't know. That's Mm. Okay. Well, and from the floor, we've got a question asking, what will unit designs look like in 20 years? Unit? Unit, what will apartment designs look like? How, much, how ah. will apartment design change in the next 20 years? Oh, <laughs> very good question. I never thought of it myself. I think it, things always move the same way, right? So only the accelerators as we go along. So if you look at it, we have now more glass. So if that's possible, I believe we will even have more glass. Uh, we, we have um, uh, more recreation areas. For instance, uh, we have now child-minding centers. And I think the units will all have child-minding centers because the people will have to go and work more and they won't have time for the kids, so they'll leave them at home. So, that, that, so whatever we are doing new now will become even more so than till now, that I can think of. I mean, I can go and, and, and talk like Jules Verne and tell you that we will fly it here and, and, and bicycle there, but th this is what I think will, will happen. People really nowadays are not looking for very big, houses or apartments because they want to spend their money on other things and I think that will happen as well. I don't believe that the sizes will grow. I think that if anything they'll probably become smaller if that's possible. Isn't there a limit though to how small you can get that, that people oh, yeah. just won't live in something that's too small, particularly in Australia? No, of course they won't. So I'm just saying that the, the tendency will be mm. smaller. Now, the argument always with the councils is that they want them to be bigger. But we don't build them bigger because nobody will pay you for it. No. So we build them in our company, and that's what everybody should do, is try to build them as big as possible without going broke. That's the way we, will, we should always do. But that we also give other facilities, like, you know, nowadays there's gyms everywhere and there's... Uh, restaurants in, downstairs, they, people appreciate all these facilities very much and that's the difference between the old suburbs which were dead and the new buildings which are alive, there's work there. But then the councils go again crazy and they want you to make an office block under a unit block which doesn't work either. Just a little bit of it is terrific. Mm. And what do you think is the ideal size for an apartment in terms of it, it being profitable for you? Deal size, probably two to three hundred is very good. Mm -hmm. Two to three hundred apartments. Yeah. And what about the apartment size itself of an individual apartment? Well, our average size, 80 squares. Mm. It's very okay. good. And um, there must be also not too tall. See, these tall buildings, I build them because I just wanted to, to, to enjoy building a very tall building. But it, it's not as fast as building lower buildings, so just remember that, it's not as fast. Hmm, okay. Well, I think we've now run out of time, so thank you very much for talking to us and sharing your lessons over a career with us. Thank you, Tori. Thank you, thank you very much.
Thank you.